Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 15th, 2020. So today we have Sapphire Regenerate Your Body. The number is 38 that reduces to 11, which is a master number. So this is aligning your frequencies. Now a lot of people want to put all these different things on that and that's fine, you know, you know, mystical kinds of meanings. Uh, as long as you're connected to that authentically, nothing wrong with that. But if you're pretending, the universe sees everything. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so you can't just go through the motions, you got to live it, okay? Now, when we're talking about the frequency of 11, about mastery, about realizing that your consciousness is bringing things into fruition, we've been talking about that, especially with everything that's been going on. When you understand that today, you realize the most important thing for me to be focused on right now is peace and harmony. No, I got I to gotta focus on figuring out my next move with my career. Understandable. No, I realized I have to take care of my body better because I'm one of those people with underlying conditions and oh, I got I got to be careful. I understand that. But everything is creating through you. So, what kind of filter do you want that to be? Okay. So, when we say because a lot of people are like, okay, I'm getting into a meditation practice. That's all well and good, but I'm going to meditate on prosperity because I'm scared about money. Careful. I'm going to meditate about finding love because I'm going through this alone. And I feel you guys, if you're out there and you're experiencing loneliness right now, I 100% understand you. That's why I try to go live on YouTube. I have been doing that. Uh, I just needed a break in the past week because some things were happening in my in my family, in my own life. So that's the only reason why I haven't been on recently. But, you know, when we're experiencing loneliness, we might go, okay, well, I want to do a meditation to draw in love. Careful. If you're doing it from a space of loneliness, what are you going to create? You know, there's a lot. <laughs> I'm going to give an example here. Um, on Facebook, I don't know if this is going around for everybody, but um, there was this thing going around where people are posting their senior photos from the year they graduated in support of, and I'm air quoting right now, <laughs> in support of current seniors. For me personally, I don't understand that. It seems very, sorry if you did this, and if you ended up doing this, I'm sure you meant well, and you know, you're not one of the ones with who was ill-intentioned, let's put it that way. But I think it's a little weird and a little self-centered. And there's even now uh, another post going around saying, how does this help? And I couldn't agree more. I felt like it was throwing our senior year in their face. And then that begs the question, why is the senior year so stinking important to everybody? Michelle, how do, oh my God, here we go. All the parents are going to come for me. <laughs> but like, listen, you know, I know senior year, graduating high school, it's a big moment. It's going to create memories, but this generation is going to be able to create a whole new kind of memory. And they're going to be able to look back and go, see how resourceful we were? See how inventive we got? Maybe graduation is, I don't know, Zoom can handle this, but <laughs> getting a graduating class to watch a speaker somewhere, you know what I mean? I mean, there's going to be ways for them to create their own memories. But what I'm getting at here is that, you know, people start thinking of themselves and coming out and going, this is how I'm going to contribute when it's not really helpful, okay? So when I say focus on that piece, you're, you're not going to be off on a limb. Do you know what I'm saying? Here, here's what I mean by that. When, when people, this example of the Facebook post, when people start posting their own high school photos, I feel in their energy that they're coming from a very um, kind of shaky place. And I won't go any deeper than that. I could, but, you know, it'd take forever here. And we're already at four minutes here. <laughs> but um, you know what I'm saying? Like they're coming from a shaky place. But when you're focused on the peace and the harmony within you, now it becomes about parents posting their own kids' photo and saying, here's my senior class of 2020. I haven't seen too much of that on Facebook. Now, you might have a completely different experience. I'm not offering this for people to argue because that's the other thing that we have to start working on. Well, it's not my experience, so it's nobody's experience, right? You need to knock that off. But what I'm getting at here is when you are in that peace and harmony, you're not going to think... Oh, <laughs> let me put myself out there in support of the class of 2020. Does that make sense? Okay, you're going to be coming from a different place. You're going to be making different choices. Now, let's get into this whole sapphire 
right? Regenerate your body, the mastery of the body. You're learning what keeps you healthy, and it starts with the peace and the harmony. That's why I went into that whole thing. Even if you can't wrap your mind around it, go back to the beginning and listen from the beginning. It does, in fact, make sense. Might have to stick with it because <laughs> I went the long way around. But whatever. Come on the journey with me, okay? We're doing the best we can here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so some of you, um, you know, whatever regenerate your body means, go ahead and do it. Remember, anything that you're doing right now for your health, let it be something that feels right for you, not something that other people tell you you should be. If you are somebody who is naturally, you know, your natural set point for your weight is a little bit higher than what the standard of beauty is, don't let people tell you that you shouldn't be eating so that you can lose weight and become like them. Ew. Okay, excuse me. I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to be in a world where everybody looks the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, well, that's another whole road we could go down here. But regenerate your body also means through your frequency. I told you guys a long time ago, if you haven't watched my uh, 2020 to 2024 video, it's, it's posted on my YouTube channel. It's got a bright pink background. I'm wear, uh, wearing, not wearing, but I'm making a really weird face <laughs> in the thumbnail. So go back and watch that. As I've been saying, you know, all of the sort of um, the things that need to be remedied, the real illness is starting to come up to the surface. And it's things that we don't even see as being something that needs to be fixed, like the Facebook post. Again, that was pretty self-centered. And I'm not saying that you're self-centered if you fell into it. I'm saying whoever started it was self-centered. And look how easily everybody went into it. That's something that needs to be fixed. Okay? If you hear howling in the background, it's the wind. <laughs> We're getting a snowstorm. It's April. I'm recording this on April 13th, and there's a snowstorm outside. But whatever. So, um, yeah, that's what we're talking about here with Regenerate Your Body. Tune into your intuition about how to harmonize the physical and the spiritual. Do not just close your eyes to things that we're supposed to be learning right now. People don't seem to get that. You turn away from stuff that we're supposed to be looking at right now, we're going to get hit again in the fall. I promise you. I promise you. Do the work now. Okay? So we could be done with this. So anyway, this is a super long video. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.